Hey guys, welcome back to Princess Connect. In today's video, we're going to be doing a bit of a recap of day one of my account, uh, what role I ended up going for, what I've summoned so far. Might do an extra summon along the way, but just get my thoughts on the game after a day of playing it, because it's pretty awesome. Okay, so we're about 12 to 14 hours into this account. Uh, last night when I made the reroll guide, I found out the game launched, did a few rerolls, made the guide, went to bed, got up in the morning, had to get on the train for work, and I wasn't going to re-download on my phone the 4 gigs of data. So I decided I was just going to go with whatever I got. And what I got ended up being uh, Reno as my first pull. Now, if you guys have seen me in other games, I, something about archers I just absolutely love and the way she is drawing three arrows here is just wicked I know one's sort of falling off, but that that kind of confuses me. I wish they were all drawn properly Maybe she's just holding that one for the next shot. That's what she's doing. It's absolutely wicked There's this little ferret thing as well. I, I don't know just something about her design. I absolutely loved and I'm like cool We're taking her. We're taking her. That's it. We're going for it. Let's see how we go. She actually has some really nice damage um Moderate uh, physical damage to all enemies in range. Uh, we've got this one, moderate boost to own physical attack and physical crit rate, which is handy. Uh, we've got this one two, uh, to an enemy directly in front. And then we're going to eventually get this one, which is physical attack. So basically she has an AoE. She increases her own crit. I think that's meant to be her thing. The crit buff is supposed to be good. I don't think she's the best, but she's got a bow, so I'm cool with it. Then I did another 10 pull. I only got the one two star from the guaranteed. And then I did a second 10 pull, and that's all I've done so far. Or I might have done third. No, I think, I think I've only done two. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> you, get, you get lost. But this was my second 10 pull in the game which is pretty solid as you can see we did get the two three stars and we got four two stars which was a really really solid mad pull uh so we did end up getting the moniker from that and also the low or the io i don't know if that's an i or an l i think it's an i eo we'll go we'll go with eo um now monica i really do like so far uh the reason being is really this one here it's a passive buff um, so it's like, it happens really quick and it's not a massive damage increase with these buffs. Um, but the attack speed is really, really nice. Um, and because it's passive, it happens almost instantly at the start of a wave. Um, then we've got this one, moder moderate physical damage to an enemy directly in front, in front and inflicts stun. The stun can be very handy. And then we've got this one, which does AOE physical damage. I haven't unlocked the level seven yet, but that's just basically passive stats. Um, so that is her. And then uh, Eo, I'm going to go Eo. I actually do like her. Um, the cool thing about her is she has this one, small magic damage, but inflicts charm, which makes them attack themselves. We have this one, deal small magic damage to all enemies, so double AoEs. Um, reduces the TP of one random enemy by a small amount, while also recovering own TP by a small amount. That's nice. It gets her to her ult faster, which is sweet, and eventually we'll get the magic attack. But really, this one's really good in line with the... Um, the tank that I use. So we ended up with three three stars, none of which I consider to be top tier. Um, these two um, being Eo and Monica, I think they're like, you know, second or third tier. Uh, my one over here, my archer chick, I'm still not used to the names, Reno. I don't think she's really that high up, but she's cool. So I use her. Um, and then for my tank at the moment, I'm using uh, Miyako, the two star. Now this is, I, I feel like she's a good tank for a two star. Um, once again, I am still doing more research in the game, doing a lot of testing, trying to find these things out, and then I will do sort of tier lists and stuff like that. Um, oh no, don't give me a tutorial. Okay, but uh, for her skills, they're actually really nice. So this one inflicts large physical damage to one enemy directly in front, while also healing own HP by a large amount. So you've got a heal there, which is nice. This boo one is sick, transforms into a ghost, becoming invincible for a short time. That's really nice. The invincibility is nice. And then we've got snack time, recovers own HP by a moderate amount. So you've got two self heals, one of which deals damage, and then you've got a complete invincibility. And this thing boosts, boosts physical defense. But once again, the passives I'm not too keen on. It's all about the three skills. And the cool thing about this is that, like I said, over here, uh, when I use 
Eo with the charm, what I can do is because sh because um, Miyako is my tank, uh, I can time the charm and play it manually so that I can time it straight after she uses her invincibility so that we charm the enemies and then we get like a longer time for her to be able to build up her energy to heal up or to use her passive heal and it's been working pretty well for me um, so I'm really enjoying that side of it. Uh, let's go over here into quests, into the main quest and this is where we're at. We're at 510 on normal, we're at... 3-3 three, three on hard. Um, keep in mind, I was at work today. I was planning my breaks. So don't flex on me too hard in the comments. Let me know where you guys are at. Let me know where you're at. Um, but yeah, like I'm pretty happy with the progress I've made so far. Um, let's just jump in and have a look at my general strategy while we're playing. Ooh, the other thing I wanted to look at is uh, the guild house. I've upgraded everything as far as it can go so far in the guild house. Uh, I want those sweep tickets. Um, insufficient player level so we gotta, we gotta wait i've upgraded all those but man you burn the sweep tickets so fast they're so nice it's tough because i don't want to keep pressing replay and you know i'm at work i can't keep doing it but i'm doing my best i'm doing my best to manually play through it i have been refreshing for stamina the re the, the, the cost to refresh stamina seems to go up i feel like the first one was like 20 gems jewels jewels 20 jewels uh but yeah recharges left today 35 I still got th I've only recharged five times man someone is gonna be going ham someone's gonna be going ham on that stuff I just haven't quite got there uh, but let's just jump in I'll show you my team formation that I use so this is my general team um, this one here is my charm chick uh, when I don't when, when I'm fighting against boss stages I'll drop her out because I can't charm the bosses and I'll put this two-star archer chick in uh, basically she has really strong single target damage and boosts her alt gauge a lot so she gets to alt often um, but this is my general splash team we've got my my tank chick that we talked about with the turns into a ghost we've got my chick that buffs my haste we've got my archer chick this chick and then this is the starting healer just because i haven't really been able to get a healer yet i don't think there's any real strong two-star healers that i've seen so kind of need to get one of the good three-star hero healers but um let's just jump into a battle and we'll take a look at how it rolls so we're going to put it on two times speed and i normally play it manually the first that the first wave i try and use as little things as i need to um looks like we're going to get absolutely shredded here so i might use her ult to get a bit of healing going if we can get this and then i'll use my healer's heal to get some more healing but it's a very little heal i really need some star ups on her damn my healer's dead already okay should have used some more ults but you know i try and, i try and conserve things anyway we're going to start off this next wave with the mind control get that going get the buffs rolling then we're going to do some aoe do another little aoe hopefully we can shred some things might have to try and pop some heals here do some damage and healing, please. Good, 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 good. These guys drop those little things that are really annoying. I don't want to use anyone else's ult. So we're just going to hold out. We're going to hold out, see if we can just auto attack it through. Yep, got it. Okay, now we're going to mind control straight off the bat again. And the thing that I do notice with this game is that the, when, you, when it's on auto, it takes it a little while to actually do the action, um, meaning that it's actually a little bit quicker if you spam click it yourself even when it's on auto like like sometimes i lose my heroes um before they get to do their ults because the auto is just too slow please don't die please use your ult yes see that that stage there the auto would not have done it she would have died before it happened can we kill can we kill these guys oh we lost our tank rip no the, can i just say how cool do the enemies look in this the enemies look like the, the monsters and stuff look so good in the... Like, the chibis look all right in the monsters. I'm not a massive fan of the chibi art in general, but enemies always look cooler than um, than humans. Humans just I struggle to make a good chibi model. But these ones aren't too bad from, compared to other things I've seen. But the, the 2D art is absolutely amazing. But that's where we're at in the quest at the moment. After about, you know, 12, 14 hours of progress, not playing hardcore, but mind you, I can still go back and probably get a bunch of uh, jewels from going through and three-starring a bunch of these stages that I didn't three-star along the way, so I could do that eventually and get some more diamonds. The other thing that I haven't done is because I've been at work, I haven't actually watched the, the main storyline. I've got all these that I can watch, get around the story, and collect all the, uh, the jewels from that as well, which I'll get to one day when I have 
a bit more time and I'm sitting down doing nothing. But for now, I just enjoy team building and character building and reading skills of characters in this game. So what we're going to finish off with, we're going to go over to summons. We're going to pop a summon because why not? I should be saving these. Um, I was thinking about show down the uh, set that I don't really care. Um, I was thinking about saving for a future banner and stuff like that. Also just saving for you know refreshes and stuff but let's do a premium i'm only gonna do one because i do want to save some diamonds for re uh for refreshes of stamina so let's hope we can get a three star heal i don't like i don't think i'm gonna get any i, I don't think i'm gonna get any three stars we, we we burnt our luck on the last one. Oh, we do get the daily deal that's the other thing i did buy one pack uh if we go over here uh unable to display i bought the like it was like a I think it was a $10 Australian pack, which means it's like seven or five dollars US. Uh, the one that gives you like a few sweep tickets every day. That I think gives you 10 sweep tickets. I just wanted more sweep tickets, and that, that's all I've purchased in the game so far. So let's go over to the summons. Let's do our daily deal because we have some premium currency. Okay. Honestly, I'm happy with the two star. Okay, do I have her? She was the only two star that I don't have yet, I think. Or maybe there's a couple others. Who cares? We'll take it. We will take it. Let me know if you know what like what healers you guys are using. So I'm struggling for healers. I'm just still using the starting chick. Let's do this draw. Let's go. No rainbow. Damn it. There's no rainbow. Okay. Ugh, two two stars. Yuck. Skip. What do we get for the two stars? Some more of those thingies. Which one's this? Uh, she's damage, isn't she? I think she's damage to the skills. Yeah. Damn. Okay. You know what? You know. <laughs> you know what? Seeing as we are here, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut. We'll be back. We'll do a couple little story things, and then uh, we'll do another we'll do another temple. Okay, got it. Can we please get a three star? Can we please just please get a three star? Loses with zero. It means I can't refresh stamina. I'm going to bed anyway. That's not rainbow, is it? It's not rainbow. Oh my god, this just makes me want to reroll again. It just makes me want to reroll. It's so cringe. It's so cringe. There's another two star we don't have. Is she a healer? Don't know. Anyway, that sucked. I should. <laughs> this is the standard gotcha regret. I should have saved my 3,000 diamonds, but no, I got trash. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it. I'm having a blast in the game. It's actually really, really enjoyable. I'm enjoying the team building. I love getting new games with new heroes to read and team build. Let me know how your team's going. What, what sort of formations are you guys using? I'm just curious. I'm sort of going the one tank, one healer, one damage, and then sort of two half support or damage. That's sort of where I'm looking. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.